Little Duval and The Breakfast Club, this was the most ignorant, idiotic, homophobic, transphobic video interview that I have ever seen in my life. And I am completely disgusted and disappointed for someone to have a sickening platform as you all do. How you let this individual, this no-name, unknown comedian get on here on your platform and spew this hateful rhetoric and you all did not check him. See, I don't think that you all don't understand when Black Lives Matter say Black Lives Matter it means all black lives. And people like whoever this unknown comedian is continue on this tragic level of thinking that keeps us all down and keeps us from going to the next level. Now, Charlemagne, I'm going to start with you because you are the funniest person. I've always looked up to you. In this interview, you kept trying to get this man to be homophobic. You kept trying to push him to go there. And you knew the comments that were going to come out of his mouth and you laughed at it. You laughed at the fact that he said that if he slept with a trans man or trans woman, let me get you all together because you don't sit up here and say transgender. Okay? And Jenny Mock was on y'all show like earlier this week and then all this good information that she gave you all, you sit up here and invited someone like him to sit up here and just destroy everything that she gave you all. I just don't understand what it is that some of you all want because I don't know if it's privilege or do you want all black people to be equal in the eyes of everybody else. I just, I want to know what do you all want when you say black lives matter? What do you want when you say you're pro-black? What do you mean? Because I'm beginning to think that you only believe that only black people who look and talk like you. You're not talking about the many black men and women and non-binary individuals that live in this country and across the globe. I didn't even think it was necessary for me to even stand up for this video because Charlemagne, you did not even stand up and get this man together. You let him continue to spit hateful rhetoric over and over again. Let me talk to you. And you know what? This is how I know you're not really funny. All you can do is throw up a whole bunch of problematic stuff, hope to get some 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 time, some buzz, because you don't have any jokes. Uh, you want to know why you don't have any jokes? You want to know why you've not made it, why you're stuck where you're at? There are Instagram comedians that are more successful than you. You want to know why? Because these individuals can come up with jokes that are not problematic. And Charlemagne, I am very disgusted by you and disappointed because for someone who has, you know, thought that I had this great awakening when it comes to LGBT issues, it doesn't seem like that you understand. And it doesn't seem like that you care about the LGBT community because when you say LGBT, you mean lesbians, gays, bisexual, transgender, queers, non-binary, all these individuals. You might as well say LGB because that seems like all you care about. The transphobic comments that just kept coming and from someone as intelligent as Janet Mock came and educated and sit up here and dealt with all this cishead bull crap from you ashy negroes that don't know the difference between your left hand and your right hand. You all have no idea. You don't want to have no idea because you can't even come up with the thought process to even come up with a joke that's not problematic. I just don't understand. Are we living in 1950? Are we living in 1860? It sure in the hell feels like it because if I tell you that this is a problem for me and I don't like it, this word is I don't like this word don't refer to me as that and for you to to sit up here and tell them to put this educated black woman's book down that had the nerve to write a book about her life and her experience as a trans woman and you told her to 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 put the book and you told Charlemagne to put the book down no you need to bend the knee is what you need to do and you need to honor black folks that sitting here out here standing up for people like you. You want to know who founded Black Lives Matter, who started that? Queer people, okay? Black, gay women, lesbian women. They have always been in the forefront for black, ashy Negroes like yourself that don't know the three branches of government. Charlemagne the God, I am truly disappointed in you. Someone who I look up to, someone who I follow on Twitter and always like, I want to be this individual. You have really hurt my feelings by sitting here letting this man sit here berate this woman that was not even there to, to 
defend herself. And Angela Yee, shout out to you, the strongest black woman I have seen in a minute with the type of power and the influence that you have for standing up what you believe in all the time. Sometimes they be hard on you to come on the show, but baby, I love you. You have shown your ass this week. DJ Envy, you stood to the side. You didn't say too much, but you did say it was problematic. I don't know why you all think it's funny to sit up here and joke about, you know, um, possibly hurting a trans woman for not identifying herself, what you call it, okay? That's your job is to get into somebody's head and have a conversation with them before you even hop in the bedroom if you want to be honest. Anytime you have sex with someone, you're taking a risk, no matter what it is. No matter if you're sleeping with someone who's trans, no matter if you're sleeping with someone who has herpes, no matter if you're sleeping with someone who has HIV, you're taking a chance. So you need to know who you're in the bed with. That is your job. Nobody else's. Your job to know who you're in the bed with. It's nobody else's job but yours. Okay? When you come in here and lay in the bed with somebody, you sit up here and say, I want to sleep with this person. If you engage in sex with them, you have said this is consensual sex. Okay? No one's raping you. No one's making you do any of that type of stuff. And Charlamagne, I just had to get back on you because considering how trash the interview was with Janet Mock and how you all are ask, asking basic questions that you can research about trans experience for trans men and women. You know how I've been talking for the last seven, eight minutes and I've not said transgender people or trans transgenders or trannies because that word is trash. Stop referring to people like that. I'm truly disappointed and pissed to the highest form of pissativity. I can't even enjoy my Friday night. I'm sitting here trying to watch Suicide Squad. That's why you are never advanced. You're trash. You have to take all the problematic stuff that people will not say, not comfortable saying, and, and are educated on. You have to take the lowest and the gutters to sit up here and bring yourself up because you don't have the mind frame to come up with good jokes for people to remember you. No one remembers you. I don't even know which Friday movie you even played in, to be honest. I don't even know if you play in the LL Cool J show that used to come out. I know nothing about you is that you are a little man with a big head and no brain. So you all need to educate yourselves. It is 2017. There is no reason for no one to be laughing about a trans woman being murdered when we have seen black trans women being killed every month for being themselves, walking down the street, existing. If you don't understand that it only takes one of us to be discriminated on for somebody to sit up here and we're gonna discriminate on everybody. So when you sit up here and say black lives matter, I need you to understand all black lives. You don't have to understand, but you will respect it.